out the story that happened before the passage that Mr. Doug read for us. In the beginning, Ruth was born in a faraway place, in a land where people didn't believe in Jesus, didn't believe in God, and didn't love him. They didn't worship God at all. They worshipped somebody else. They worshipped idols and false gods. But when Ruth got old enough, she married a man who was Naomi's son, and he was a believer in God. And when Ruth learned about God, she fell in love with God, and she loved him with her whole heart. But a tragedy struck, and Ruth's husband died. And Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, was moving back to her home country, far away from Ruth's family. Now Ruth had a big decision to make. She had to decide, do I go with my mother-in-law to a land that's far away from my family? and worship the God that she worships? Or do I stay in this land, far away from her, and far away from that God, and far away from any churches where I can worship? And Ruth made a very difficult decision to go with her mother-in-law because she loved God that much. She was willing to say goodbye to her parents, to her siblings, to all of her cousins, and all of her friends growing up. She was willing to say goodbye to all that because she loved God that much. And God saw that love in Ruth's heart. And when they got back to that land, God provided a new husband for her, a man named Boaz. And that's what Mr. Doug just read for us. And Boaz fell in love with Ruth. And he married Ruth. And Ruth had children. And those children had children and so on. And she had grandchildren and great-grandchildren. And she had a very happy life after that. God blessed her in an amazing way. But not only was it children, what Mr. Dunn just read for us, it actually named the children. Her son's name was Obed. Her grandson's name was Jesse. Her great-grandson's name, did anybody pick up on that? What was it? Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, David. And who do we, what do we know about David? I'll give you a clue. Ready? Mr. Doug, will you stand up? <laughs> You're always Goliath. And <laughs> will you play David for us today? You know what, too? Would you play David for us? Come here. Yeah, stand up here. Yeah. Look, look Mr. Doug in the eye, right there, point at him and say, You're going down, fella. <laughs> That's good. So you come against me with the sword and the spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. You're going to drop dead any minute here, fella. And just like that. And just like that. Man, I think you have a career in acting ahead of you. You just picked up with that and you improvised so naturally. <laughs> but think about this. That all happened because Ruth trusted the Lord. Because she loved God more than she loved anything else in the world. And because of that, God took Ruth and he adopted her into his family and made her a part of his family. And a very important part because do you know who's David's great, 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 great grandson was? You know who that was? Jesus. Jesus was David's great, great grandson. And that means Jesus was Ruth's great, great grandson. She loved God more than anything else. And God can use a person like that in incredible, indescribable, limitless ways. And so my prayer for you guys today is that you will love God like Ruth loved him with all your heart, and God will use you in amazing ways. Would you pray with me for that? And we'll pray for them as well, okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for Ruth, who loved you completely more than anything else in the world. Help us to love you just as she did and use us in powerful ways to glorify you because we love you and pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>